Okay, so what we have here is how to do a FPV, a first person view aeroplane, but very cheaply. Okay, so what are the various things I've got? So, first thing, you're going to need an aeroplane. This is a, a Flying Wings Mini V trainer, about 50 quid, I suppose, once you add the servos and stuff like that. Um, this is a Spectrum DX5E. Again, about 60, 70 quid with a receiver. So I suppose you're talking about 120 pounds, 130 quid for the plane with batteries, charger and all that kind of stuff. I had that already, so that wasn't anything to worry about. So what do we need next? You need a camera. I've got a little camera here. And a receiver there, like that. Now, those were bought from eBay for about 15 pounds, posted directly from Hong Kong. Not the most brilliant quality, but it will do. It needs to be powered by a 9-volt battery, so I've taped a 9-volt battery on there. And that is going to be taped on there like that. So that's going to sit at the front there, pointing slightly down, because you don't want to look it straight at the horizon. You want it slightly down so you can see the, the ground as you're flying. Lastly, another thing bought from eBay secondhand is a thing called an EZ Vision or EZ Vision pair of video glasses like this. Um, these are normally about 120, 150, 170 pounds, I think, or something like that. These I managed to buy from eBay for about 55. So, um, quite a, not a huge kind of outlay, I suppose. So the actual FVP bit has cost, I don't know, 75, 80 quid at the most, something like that. I mean, that even includes two rechargeable batteries as well. So if we just plug it all in and let's see if we can get it... Actually, no, first thing I'll do, I'm going to take my little camera on. So, um... This is where I have to do something more awful. There's no bit of tape, there's no bit of tape there. So I'll just put the tape on here like this. Bum, 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 bum. And then I'm going to stick that about there, like that. And it's all pretty kind of crude, but I'm not going to worry too much about it, as long as the thing holds on while it's flying. Um, right, so there's our... Oh, it's at a bit of an angle. Right, that's a bit better. Okay, so we've got that there. Um, right, so first thing, I'm going to plug that into there, like that. Oh, it's coming apart again. Oh, well, you get the picture anyway. Um, that's going to go on there. Obviously, I'm going to have to get another bit of gaffer tape, because that's the other thing that's very useful, gaffer tape. So, stick that on there like that. It's not going to look pretty, but um, as long as it stays on, that's all I'm really worried about. Okay, so that should be all right. That will give us a approximate idea of it there so that's plugged in i then plug in the um receiver there like that so that's all on and then hopefully we've got a picture on here no we don't at the moment oh no let's switch that on there we go and i have a picture of what my airplane is seeing which is a little bit of that's not too bad at all, actually. If um, if I go over here and try and point it outwards a bit, so we've actually got a, a nice light thing to look at, you get a view. You might just be able to see there the view of the uh, what the aircraft's seeing. I'm not sure if you can see that properly or not. So that's basically my aeroplane looking out the window as it is there, sat on an old motorbike. Um, so I'm going to have a go at flying that hopefully at some point soon. And um, that's going to be about it really. I think I'll probably need to take this, these wires down. It seems quite heavy so I'm just wondering about how that would work. But you know, we will find out. The other alternative, which I've not tried yet, is to actually get one of these which is um, the Flycam uh, One Three, which is a really nice, slick, integrated design, basically. So the basic camera is about 90 quid, and the receiver or transmitter unit, the receiver and transmitter is about 70, 75, something like that. So you're still talking about 180 for the two. 
Um, if I switch them on, because this has got a, a transmitter there, and that's the camera unit, and this is the receiver here, and then it's got a screen. Now the screen could be taken off and actually put onto this here, like that, which is quite nice. Um, anyway, switch it on, so I'll switch on the camera first, then I switch on the um, transmitter, then finally we switch on the receiver, and from there, a bit, of a, a bit of a noise, but there we basically you have the view of the camera there, like that. And also it has a a little plug there where I can plug in my um, my things here. I have a feeling that it doesn't work with the screen. I think you have to take the screen off. But we'll just give it a quick go and see if it works. Um, that one there like that. That one there like that. Then that should go into here and hopefully we get a there. Ah, there we go. It does work. So I've now got an upside down view of what the camera is seeing. Can you see that upside down? Yeah. Um, so if we switch this one like that, I've now got an upright view. So again, you might be able to see that there. You're actually getting an image. Perhaps you can't. Of what, yeah, you can kind of see it in there. When it's up against your your eyes, it's um almost like um you've got a huge screen on. So if I just film myself there like that, I'm not really sure if I'm, I'm in screen, but that's what you've got. One of the problems I can see is that you might need to actually put something over the top here to make it a bit darker. So I was going to put a woolly hat on and put it over, and you know, and then discreetly pull it over the top of my eyes when I need to, and then put it back again. Um, but anyway. So they're the alternatives. This is quite heavy. This would not work with um, that plane there. You know, I think this is getting too heavy even as it is with this lot with the 9 volt battery and stuff like that. You'd need something with a, 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 a meter plus wingspan. I'd imagine something like a multiplex easy star or the, the bigger version of the flying wings. Uh, they do a V trainer which has got a meter wide wingspan. I suppose any kind of larger aircraft like that would be fine, but it's it's not light, definitely. Well, that's about it. So um, hopefully the next instalment you'll see some of this going.